deep diving into the dust today. What's that quote about polishing a turd? Never do this if I'm honest with you. Look at the filth. All hell broke loose. Lazy girl cleaning expert. Not today Satan, not today. Hello my loves, I hope you're all good, hope you're having a lovely Sunday. I'm a bit embarrassed to admit this, but I cannot remember the last time I did a deep clean of the Sunnyside office and I've just seen a spider as I said that. Do you know what right, one, the office is on a farm, so naturally it's gonna be dusty, it's gonna be mud coming in and out. I walk sunny every day before I come to the office so my shoes are always filthy. I would say the only place that doesn't really get dusty is the packing desk because obviously there's always things on it and off it. It doesn't really allow time for it to get dusty. Other than that though, we are doing a full spring clean, deep diving into the dust today. And I absolutely love those videos on TikTok where people set a timer. So I'm gonna set a timer for an hour today and see what I can get done. So without further ado, I'm gonna switch over to voiceover Han and let's get on with it. You can tell this is my first time because I decided to film this on my camera and my phone for a TikTok and completely forgot to press record on the camera for this first clip. Also, why am I choosing which music I'm going to listen to after I set the timer. I definitely should have done that before but Adele it was. Anyway to start I was just tidying up the desk a little bit and all of the biscuits in my biscuit jar are now out of date. Such a sad time. I realised that the screen had gone off already. Honestly this is definitely my first rodeo. So it took me about 30 seconds to change that. You've got to be able to see the timer. This is the moment I realised I hadn't even pressed record for that first clip and we're already five minutes into the timer so that's great. Anyway here we are back to the big camera. So first of all I dusted the blind did them the first way, switched them over, did them the second way. If anyone has a better way to clean these blinds, please let me know. And then I went in with this all surface cleaner, sprayed it along the windowsill and this was embarrassingly gross. Look at the filth. Not gonna lie, I never do the windowsill though. I do wipe down the desk quite a lot so I wasn't expecting this to be as bad, especially over in this corner where the lamp is, the pens. I do feel like I keep on top of that relatively well. But anyway, I sprayed down the mat, sprayed down the rest of the desk. The spray I'm using is just a surface cleanser one from Astonish. It smells delicious. Then I moved on to desk number two. Ask me if I've ever moved this printer to clean behind there. Yeah, the answer is no. So I was expecting this to be gross. It was. What a surprise. I even dusted the printer, dusted the inside too, found a little photocopy that I forgot was in there, put everything back, and I was spending way too long wiping down these desks. Honestly, I am not a rusher. I don't rush doing anything. We are already 17 minutes into this timer and all I have done is one blind and the desks. Like your gal, she doesn't do anything fast. Anyway, dusted down the eucalyptus and again wiped down this other desk and the other mat. And then I moved on to the second windowsill. At this point I realised that I actually did have a wood cleaner and a duster so I switched over to that one instead of just the surface cleanser. One thing about me is I'm going to use whatever cleaning product I've got to hand. I am not one to root around the basket. Anyway, this section of the office was a complete mess. These are all just mat bag samples so I took everything out of here and it was time to test out my new Hoover. This has very kindly been gifted to me from Halo. It's the Halo Capsule X and this was my first time using it. Very impressed I have to say. got three different speeds you can change the settings so that it picks up more on carpet it comes with so many different heads I switched to a smaller head to do the top of this little puffet thing because this was dusty too and it left literal hoover lines in it so impressed and then I quickly ran downstairs to grab this tub and put the mat bags in here just to keep them a bit more tidy keep them a bit less dusty then I did this second blind should have done that first because I imagine the dust is going all over everything that I have just cleaned I'm not a professional I am a lazy gal then I hoovered over in this corner I actually really enjoy hoovering in but when I say this is the best hoover I have ever used way better than the cheap Amazon one that I usually use at the office and way better than the Dyson one that we have at home if you find hoover in a chore and you can invest in a good hoover I would highly recommend this one moving over to the coffee table I moved everything off and got my duster back out you can see on the timer we're at 27 minutes so we're over halfway I am way behind schedule to be honest with you I completely disregarded the timer next time I do this I'm gonna try and do it quicker because I mean the timer was almost pointless 
switch my little reed diffuser around. I actually hate the smell of this one. It's a really cheap one from B&M or Home Bargains. It smells vile. Then I put the chocolates in the now empty biscuit jar. How much better does that look? That rose's tin is going in the bin. Did a little bit more hoovery hoovery. I did behind Sunny's toys. I went under the sofa. Probably should have pulled it out, but could I be bothered? Absolutely not. Under the coffee table. And then we are onto the sofa. Now, usually I would clean the sofa. You can probably see that those bottom cushions are a little bit grubby, but I've run out of the floor cleaner. I usually use the Dr. Beckman one with the brush. You can do it for the floors, but you can do it for upholstery as well. So instead I just gave them a really thorough hoover and I'll get some more of that cleaner for when I next go to the office. I'm sure pretty much all of you saw that come in. Anyway, put the cushions back on and the blanket. I try and keep it a little bit more tidy because it's only really sunny that sits on this sofa. And here I go again, hoovering the rest of the floor. This hoover was picking up so much because I've only used that really cheap Amazon hoover that I have at the office. And every time you stop hoovering with my other one, all the bits fall out. So it's pretty pointless. This carpet actually has a thicker pile so you can see the hoover lines this hoover was leaving. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to take this hoover home and use it in my new house when I've got a carpet. I mean, I've only just got ceilings and not getting ahead of myself we have less than 10 minutes left oh my god there is still so much to do i thought this challenge was going to be a breeze but i have a newfound respect for tiktok cleaners anyway i moved down to the kitchen because the sink just looks a bit dull like it's not dirty but i never do this if i'm honest with you i barely ever use this sink whenever i come up to the office i'm very rarely there for an entire day but look at the grub on the cloth the pink stuff is the best way to clean your stainless steel sinks by the way i even clean the soap tray that's how far we're going and then it's onto the worst job of the office, the toilet. Oh no, the timer's going off. Oh God. Do you know what? I'm just gonna carry on because I just can't be tamed. That hour went so quick. Put some bleach down the toilet, put some toilet cleaner down there. I probably should have scrubbed it a little bit, but could I be bothered again? No. I also just used bathroom wipes to wipe down the toilet. This was a real surface level cleaning here. I no longer had the motivation from the timer. So I mean, all hell broke loose. Crazy times we're living in. Anyway, I moved onto the sink and used a little bit of the pink stuff on the tap and the What's that called? The plug. And again, the bathroom wipes are back out. Don't worry, this is not the same one as the toilet. I actually used three different bathroom wipes. Wiped down the tiles as well. Probably should have done a better job than that, but it looks pretty good to me. Then on my way out, I realised this little section of the kitchen had some tea staining. So I used this Pink Stuff Cream Cleaner to try and scrub it off. Massively underestimated how much of this I needed. Tea stains are tough, so I had to pour some more on. I'm just using a soft cloth to do this. Is that the right cloth? I don't know. Like I said, anything that's to hand, that is what I'm going to use. But look how much better the kitchen is. Is. I am a true lazy girl cleaning expert. Right, this little shelf as you come into the office, it always looks a bit dusty because it's painted black. So I gave that a little dust down again with the surface cleanser, wiped down my little sign and put my little ornaments back up. So cute. Then I realised that I forgot the top of the fridge. So I wiped this down too. I feel like a lot of this video is just me wiping stuff down, but that's what I do best. I put the orchid back on there. I mean, what's that quote about polishing a turd? It's not the prettiest fridge, but I think it looks all right. Then I wanted to do the floors downstairs. Obviously I've got carpet upstairs but hard flooring down here so I gave it a quick once over with the hoover you can use a different setting on this hoover for hard flooring I hoover my little mats as you walk in and then I filled up the spray mop and guys I know you're supposed to dilute this but again I am lazy and I also have no apparatus to put water into it. I don't have a jug or anything at the office, so I just use it neat. I am so hardcore, I know. Started off with the toilet. Probably should have finished with that though, because that probably is the most unhygienic place, but here we go, we live and we learn. Did the little hallway, and again, this is one of those jobs I actually do do quite regularly, because it's so nice to walk into the office with such a nice smell. I decided the stock room was not a job for today. I mean, the time has already gone off about half an hour ago by this point, and those boxes are in the way to mop the floor, so not today, Satan, not today. Then I hoovered the stairs as my last job well one of my last jobs anyway and I used the smaller head attachment on the hoover again to do this and it was so quick and easy hoovering the stairs is one thing that I always put off and they always collect stones mud shells I headed upstairs because I thought I was done and this area looked so messy I keep a little steamer at the office in case I need to use it on any of the products so I put that away and just tidied up the wires a little bit from my little light packed away my hoover because that is coming to my new house and realized that was absolutely parched but then it was time to pack up and leave I think that that is enough for one day. So my loves, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see my future videos and let me know if you'd like a part two because I definitely could have done this more in depth. But by this point, it was half five. I was ready to go home. It had been a long day. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a lovely week next week and I will see you again next Sunday with another little video. Bye guys. Love ya.